A reading from the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angels to his servant John, who gives a witness to the word of God, to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, To the angel of the church in Ephesus write this, The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Responsorial Psalm Those who are victorious, I will feed them the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. A reading from... The Holy Gospel according to Luke As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of Mark identifies this man as Bartimaeus. This blind man was determined to get near the one person who could meet his need. He knew 
who Jesus was and had heard of his fame for healing, but until now had no means of making contact with the son of David, a clear reference and title for the Messiah. This incident reveals something important about how God interacts with us. The blind man was determined to get Jesus' attention and he was persistent in the face of opposition. Jesus could have ignored and scolded him because he was interrupting his talk and disturbing his audience. Jesus showed that acting was more important than talking. This man was still in desperate need and Jesus was ready not only to empathize with his suffering but to relieve it as well. Bartimaeus was not only grateful for the gift of faith and the gift of physical sight, but for the opportunity to now follow Jesus as one of his disciples. Luke tells us that he immediately followed Jesus and gave glory to God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, open the eyes of my heart and mind that I may see and understand the truth and goodness of your word. May I never fail to recognize your presence with me and to call upon your saving grace in my time of need and healing. Amen. <music>